Okay, let's just do a binomial confidence interval example. <clears throat> so here we have a dice, which is rolled 420 times, and a 6 resulted on 86 occasions. So first let's determine P, or the proportion of 6 occurring. So let's put a little 6 there to show that. And that happened uh, 86 times uh, out of 420 rolls. So let's calculate that one over here. Done. 0 0.2048. Um, okay, that part's done. Determine the 95% confidence interval. Okay, so the 95% confidence interval is equal to, we need, we need to use our formula. Okay, and for that we need to make up the Let's do that first. So our standard deviation is equal to the square root of NPQ um, of sorry, of PQ on N. Okay, so P equals that. That means Q equals one take zero point two oh four eight, which equals. Zero point seven nine five two Okay. Um and so we're multiplying that by that and dividing by four twenty to work out the standard deviation. So we have zero point two oh four eight times by zero point seven nine five and that's divided by the n, which is 420. Okay, all that's happening inside the square root bracket. Okay, so let's calculate that over here. We have the square root of 0 0.2048. I'm going to put another bracket there. 0 0.2048 times by 0.79. And that's divided by 420, the number of trials. Okay, let's calculate that one. So our standard deviation or standard error is 0 0.0197. Okay, so our confidence interval then is going to be P plus. 1.96 times the standard deviation, uh, and P take 1.96 times the standard deviation. So let's calculate that. So we have, uh, maybe I'll just write it out for you like this, just so you know exactly what we're doing. P take 1.96 times sigma is less than or equal to the population proportion, which is less than or equal to P plus 1.96 times sigma. Okay, so we've got our P, 0.2048. We've got our sigma, 0.0197. Okay, so we're going to calculate this confidence interval. Okay, so um, I'm, I'm not going to write out the values we're putting in there. I'll just put it in our calculator. So we have um, 0.2048 take Okay, and I'll put this part in brackets, 1.96 times by our sigma, which is 0 0.0197. All right, let's perform that. So we have 0 0.167 is less than or equal to P, which is less than or equal to and we'll just change this to be plus if we can. That's how we do it. Uh, so we got point two four three.
Okay, so what this is saying then is that we're 95% confident that the probability of rolling a 6 on this die is between 0 0.167 and 0 0.243. Okay, the probability of rolling a die or the proportion of 6s rolled is between 0 0.167 and 0 0.243. Part 3 says comment on the probable fairness of this die. Okay. Now, if we if it was a fair die, we would then expect, okay, each uh, the probability of it being a, a six to be one divided by six. Okay, there's six faces, uh, and if each has an equal chance of appearing, then the probability is now point one six seven. Okay, now that is right on the edge of this confidence interval. Okay, which basically suggests the dice is probably fair. Okay, it still exists within the confidence interval, and we need to increase the sample size if we were to determine uh, determine otherwise. But at this stage, after 420 samples, the dice is fair. Okay, to calculate the width of the confidence interval, that's just doing the um, the, la the larger end take away the, the sm uh, smaller end. Okay, and that'll just show you the width over which the probability lies. Okay, so that's a fairly basic one as well.